It feels like long. It feels like forever, yeah. Where'd you get this? Here. This one yeah. I got here. This one I got here. And this one I got here. And you think I love yours? Um, the girl. She did, she did, she did like all of the beast stories. Exactly. In a foreign, I love how it drives. She keep texting me, calling me fine. But you know that I'm waiting. In my line, and I might have to visit. You keep thinking I just wanna hit it. But you still let me in it. Hit notes like you singing. Little mama, yeah, she say I'm a player. She can't trust that I'll never betray her. Wanna feature, but you gon' have to pay her. Never miss, like I'm showing a layup. She call me up when she lonely. Saying that she wanna take it slowly. When I blow, do not act like my So I haven't seen the tattoo yet, obviously, since it's been under the wrap. And I just got home. It's like 12 o'clock, so I've had this thing on for a while. But the tattoo guy did say, don't take it off unless you're home for the night. So I'll wash my hands first. Never forget kids. Bruh, did I break my arm or get a tattoo with me? Bruh, I'm like excited and scared at the same time. Ooh. Bang, this is what it looks like. Kind of, kind of gas. Alrighty, so now that you guys just watched me literally go get this tattoo that's on my arm right now, I thought I would just sit down and tell you guys about all my tattoos. I've been watching a lot of videos recently of people like explaining their tattoos and I want to explain mine because I've been 18 for a year, almost. I turned 19 in May, so like in a week, literally I think in a week. So I decided that like, hey, I might as well do a video explain my tattoos because I've gotten all of these within the first year of when I'm able to even get tattoos. So yeah, that's what I wanted to do. But yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys all my tattoos. If you wanted to see all these beforehand, you could follow me on all my social medias. The links will be in the description as well as on the screen. So follow me, stay up to date, stay active, and let's get into the video. All right, so the first tattoo I ever, ever, ever got was this cross behind my ear. Um, let me tell you the story. So I was about to turn 18 and I was like, all right, what am I even gonna get to do? You know, I'm in quarantine right now, da 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 This was the beginning of the pandemic. And I was like, you know what? I wanna get a tattoo. Cause tattoo shops had just like reopened and all that stuff and you can go in and get tattoos. And I was like, I'm, I'm just gonna go get a tattoo. Originally, I had planned on getting this tattoo and another one the same day, but I only ended up getting this one. Um, it didn't really hurt at all. It actually felt really weird because the skin that was like near where I was getting the tattoo would like vibrate and I was like, this is weird. But it was cool. Like I realized that I have a really high pain tolerance and that like, it's not that bad. Even though I like can't handle shots or anything, um, that's why I was like worried about getting a big tattoo for my first tattoo, but it ended up being fun, chilling. I ended up paying $80 for this one. It was a shot minimum. I couldn't literally pay anything less for it. Um, was it worth $80? Probably not, but I understand like you have to use all the needles and the ink and all that stuff. So I get it, don't worry, $80 shot minimum, I understand. The second tattoo I got, I ended up getting like not too long after this first one and it was the tattoo that I was debating on getting the same day, like the same time with this one, but I ended up doing it. I ended up going back later and getting the second tattoo, which is my lightning bolt tattoo. I don't know why, um, I'm kind of obsessed with lightning and lightning bolts and stuff like that. I think it's really cool. Lightning bolts have a really deep meaning and I think it's just like good to have something like that with deep meaning that may not seem deep as a tattoo because it opens up conversation like whenever anyone asks me why do you have a like lightning bolt tattooed on you i'm just like hey 
I also use the lightning bolt a lot to brand myself um, across like social media and stuff like that. It's literally in the bottom right hand corner of this video. It's on my Twitter. I like use it a lot when I post and all that stuff. So it's just like something that I was like, let's just do it bro. Like, what are you waiting for? Just get the tattoo. This one I also paid $80 for. I got this tattoo and this tattoo at the same place. South Shore Tattoo in Amityville, Long Island. $80 shop minimum. Great people, great vibes, great shop. Like check them out if you want to go get a tattoo yeah the next tattoo I got was actually the first tattoo I got back from college so I ended up going to college and get tattoos I was trying to convince everyone and their moms up there like come get a tattoo with me come get a tattoo with me it just never worked out but I ended up going to get a tattoo um, like a few weeks after I came home from college um, in, uh, in September October time and yeah i ended up getting this tattoo right here it is 224 it stands for today tomorrow forever and it's pretty cool this actually made it into a vlog bit um we actually did a bit about this tattoo uh roll it juju yeah i'm so embarrassed why it's 223 juju 223 <laughs> i i said that i it's, literally it's, i literally said that it's so embarrassing yeah, what it's two two three. Can you get a refund? Just cover it up. Just get a bigger I mean, two two three. No, 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 no. You just need a quarter. It'll come right off. Yeah, so if you guys don't get it, YMW Melly has a song called Two Two Threes, and it's like, oh my God, you got two two four. You meant to get two two three. Like, ah, uh, yeah. It's. I'm sorry. This tattoo, I think I paid eighty dollars for. I'd kind of be surprised if I paid anything more for it. But um, I think I paid $80 for it. I didn't end up going to the same tattoo shop. I ended up going to Lone Wolf Tattoo in Belmore um, on Long Island, New York. Uh, yeah, they had walk-ins and stuff like that. It was just more convenient. And yeah, I literally remember this tattoo. I made a vlog about it. You can click the card on the screen now if you want to check it out. But I got this tattoo like for no reason, basically. I was seeing TikToks and stuff like that. And, like I just felt like the universe was telling me to go get a tattoo. So I got a tattoo and this is what it turned out to be. Check out the vlog if you haven't already. It's pretty fire. The next tattoo that I ended up getting was this mama tattoo. I also got it at Lone Wolf Tattoo in Belmore. Check them out. They're just absolutely amazing. I go there all the time now. Yeah, it's in red ink. It's very important to me. Uh, it's probably going to be the only red ink tattoo I ever get. Um, it's pretty sentimental to me. Uh, it's in my mom's handwriting. It's pretty cool. This is her M from her signature. And that is just like some other writing to finish the word mama from a birthday card. Thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know, I really like this tattoo. It's probably the most sentimental and important tattoo on my body. So put stuff on your body that matters to you, okay? And I got this tattoo, this love yours tattoo the same day that I got this mama tattoo. Yeah. But yeah, I think all together I paid like either 120 or 150 for both of these tattoos. I don't exactly remember, but it was definitely for sure around that price range, like 120, 150. This love yours tattoo, if you haven't listened to that J. Cole, what what are you doing? It's been out for so long. But yeah, the song's basically about being grateful and appreciative of like what you have. Um, and all that stuff, even though that there might be people who have better stuff than you or whatever, you always have to be grateful because there's going to be always someone who has it worse than you. So if you haven't listened to the song, go listen to it. It's honestly like a top 10 song for me. And then, of course, the final tattoo that I got is this here, like little piece of these butterflies. Um, it's the first like big tattoo that I've gotten. Um, yeah, it's just a bunch of butterflies. I really like it. Um, I don't know, like why I got butterflies tattooed on me when they're my biggest fear, but I did. But yeah, I don't know. I just really like them. Even though they're like my biggest fear, I really like the piece. I think butterflies are like really pretty from afar. As long as they're not near me, on me, approaching me, anything like that, I'm fine. Like they're chilling. They could stay over there in their little glass exhibit. Actually, no, they can't stay in the little glass exhibit. That's animal cruelty. But yeah, those are all my tattoos. I have six tattoos in total. Um, I don't think I'm going to be getting any more before my birthday. I also want to get this little angel tattoo. Um, I don't know if I want to get it here or here. Don't know yet. Um, definitely, I'm definitely getting that one though. Like that, that's without a doubt. Angels are like all over my house. Like they're in the bathroom. I'm looking at one right there. There's probably one behind me somewhere. Our Christmas tree, we don't even put a star. We put a little angel on the top. All right, so angels are very important. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Don't forget to smash the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And let me know what you guys think about my tattoos. And subscribe to keep up with the journey on YouTube. And turn on your post notifications so you're alerted every single time 
time I upload. And yeah, guys, it's pretty much gonna be it for today's video, like I said before. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my content. It literally means the world to me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, muchachos. Bang.